الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد ولا علی و صحبہ وسلم اما بر حبت فلا As we've mentioned on countless occasions, the importance of Tawheed, of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And that's the, the crux and the asl and the foundation of our religion. It's built upon the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The shahad attain. When you take the shahad and you embrace Islam, it's, it's Tawheed. You are affirming, you're making the testimony of faith, affirming that you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. That you believe that there is none that has the right to be worshipped except Allah azza wa jal alone. Have the Tawheed. Have the kalimah to Tawheed. And with that being uh, emphasized all throughout the book in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Madhab of the Salaf al-Salih, Ridwanallahi alayhim, we see in a beautiful statement uh, <clears throat> of Imam uh, Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala and he's talking about how Tawheed is, um, it is for the well-being of the creation, for the maslaha of the creation. And it is the sanctuary. Like this place is such a beautiful, generally a peaceful place when people aren't shooting uh, shotguns, that it is a beautiful, peaceful place, like a sanctuary, in essence. And so Tawheed is a sanctuary of the dunya, Imam Ibn al-Qayyim uh, is referring to. So Imam Ibn al-Qayyim, rahmatullah rahmatin wasiyah, he says, nothing repels the extreme worldly hardships as does Tawheed. This is why the supplication for distress and anxiety is with Tawheed. A distressed person does not make dua with the supplication of the Prophet Yunus, والسلام, except that Allah drives away his distress and anxiety with Tawheed. There is nothing more gruesome for the distressed person except shirk. And there is nothing that can rescue you from it except Tawheed. It is a place of refuge for the creation. It is shelter. It's a fortress. And it's meaning of and it's the meaning of seeking aid. So if you want to seek assistance, as the Prophet ﷺ said, if you seek help and a support, seek it from Allah. If you seek help, seek it from Allah. The dua of Yunus Ahabatifillah. It's a simple dua that you need to learn. And as Ibn al-Qayyim mentioned, he mentioned so many fawaid on how it is a means of dealing with stress and removing stress and distress and difficulty in one's life. This dua is, La ilaha illa ant subhanaka inni kuntu Min al-dhalimeen. This beautiful supplication, La ilaha illa ant, subhanaka inni kuntu min al-dhalimeen. La ilaha illa ant, subhanaka inni kuntu min al-dhalimeen. Means, there is none worthy of worship except you. You are free from imperfection. And indeed, I am from the oppressors or sinners. Look at this supplication. The supplication of Yunus, alayhi salatu wasalam. La ilaha illa ant. Subhanaka inni kuntu min al There is no God worthy of worship illa ant except you. What is that? That's Tawheed. That's the full acknowledgement that worship belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. There's no room for ambig ambiguity there. We can't say, no, it belongs to this one too. Fir'aun should get some of this worship. Trump should get some of this worship. No, no, Obama should get it. No, this one should get it. No, 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 Buddha should get it. No, Jesus should get it. No, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa should get it. Abedin. لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين. There is no God worthy of worship except you. You're acknowledging that Allah Taala is the only one worthy of worship. Have the Tawheed. لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك. Glory be to you. 
glory be to you. Or you are free from imperfection. Inni kuntu min Then there's an acknowledgement of your sins. How you oppressed yourself. How you oppress yourself. Meaning what you did in the past and what you do now. That we oppress ourselves. We commit sin. We have mistakes. We, we fall short. La ilaha illa and subhanaka inni kuntu min al-zalimin. So that's a ni'mah, this dua. And this dua should give you some comfort in the heart if you understand its meaning and you allow it to have this positive impact upon you and your heart. And you rest assured, strong on Tawheedillah. Having faith in Iman Billah. Loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And worshiping him and him alone. And not just loving Allah Azza wa Jal, but also a habitifillah that you are striving to gain his love. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, bless us with ikhlas with abad, and bless us with his love, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad. وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم